What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John CD4 and hopefully you guys are having a crazy day today. Today I will be talking about some Call of Duty news because recently Sledgehammer games have been all over the Call of Duty D, pretty much revealing a lot of information about next year's game. Call of Duty 2017 is looking good so far because they revealed lately a lot of information and I am really surprised because you know back in the day back in my prime time it was pretty much on boots in the ground my prime time era was pretty much in black ops 1 where i ended up being ranking the top in the whole leaderboards and everything in domination and team deathmatch and then modern warfare 3 pretty much lit our whole clan which is called damage inc you guys can search my old videos i was pretty much a beast with my p90 man i will be wrecking out there i think i committed over 120,000 kills within like a span of six months with my p90 i was actually like top rank and everything also, I was the highest ranked in Stealth Bombers. <laughs> I know people are going to be like calling me out and shit like, Oh, Joe, you use, use like uh, support kill streaks? You fucking, you fucking loser, you know. Go, go home, quit the game, you know. Uh, I don't really give a fuck because at least I help my teammates and I'm not stingy as fuck like some people out there in the Call of Duty franchise. But anyways... Sledgehammer Games has revealed lately that they're going to be going back to its roots, back to like boots in the ground. I think it's been like 100% confirmed at this point that next year's game is going to be 100% boots on the ground. It's a lot of speculation, a lot of, you know, pretty much clues, but at this point, it has to be boots on the ground. And I know I did say a lot of negative things about it because, you know, I pretty much experienced Boots in the Ground since like Black Ops 1. And yes, there's a lot of negatives, but at the same time, I love the challenge because there's just so many ways you can beat the campers and quickscopers. Unless the quickscopers are way too OP, then I cannot pretty much do much like in Black Ops 2. But hopefully they're not too OP. Hopefully they kind of delay the quickscoping thing like they did back in Black Ops 1. They delayed it like by 0.5 seconds and every time you try to aim, it will aim in a different part of your screen. That was amazing back in Black Ops 1, but the bad thing is, that was Treyarch. So, hopefully, somehow, Sledgehammer Games can kind of give us, like, a balance, a good balance for us to play the game. Because I know people are going to be asking for balancing, a lot of nerfing and shit, and I know most of the quickscopers are going to be crying on day one because they cannot take out anybody out there with quickscoping. And I know it's going to happen. I know people are going to cry on the first day. But hopefully, they do give us the rushers a little bit more incentive, a little bit more, you know, commodity, because I hated that back in Black Ops 2, when they nerfed all my SMGs, all my assault rifles, I couldn't do shit against the quickscopers until they freaking, you know, pretty much bumped up the mp7 and a little bit the uh, i think it was the vector right the vector also was good against the quick scoping community and also a little bit on the shotguns but that's about it there was like a very little bit amount of weapons so hopefully they do give us good balancing hopefully they do allow us to rush normally like they we used to do back in the day because black ops 1 was a whole different story and then modern warfare 3 i was able to run around with my p90 with no problem not even facing the quick scopers would stop me like i was just be 100 percent rushing with no problem so that's what i like about modern warfare 3 and it was made by sledgehammer games also so hopefully it's like the old school modern warfare 3 man hopefully i do see my old clan members from damage inc being you know there with me you know playing and leading with the clans and everything i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get in contact with a bunch of my old members man because recently like cruel 7 chavez gotcha good uh psycho kills frank is still online uh several of the other clan members of the old school era of modern warfare 3 are still online right now and hopefully we can all play together including creation even though he was with like half of us like he was like 50 50 with like furia mexicana and then with us and i don't know how to explain that story but to be honest modern warfare 3 was my second prime time it was like pretty much the year of teamwork because black ops 1 was the year of, of stinginess like for me because i was rocking out there alone lone wolf and i was owning out there but modern warfare 3 i work as a team and that's sledgehammer games and pretty sure hopefully i can join a clan in modern warfare 3 so i can lead out there so anyways boots in the ground going with back to its roots guys hopefully you guys are ready for this next year coming up because it's about to go down people i'm about to go down and i'm gonna upload shitloads of videos it's gonna be non-stop videos every single day like i used to back in the day because right now i've been slipping man i've been like resting my time and i was like oh my god i just wish the next call of duty can come out so i can like upload a video every single day but yeah that's my opinion about this situation people what is yours you no know, leave a comment in the comment section let me know what do you think about boots in the grounds and returning to its roots we don't even know if it's gonna be modern yet or old school because you know there's a lot of clues it might be in world war ii but who knows it's still a big ass question mark towards that but 
yeah, that's about it, guys. Leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty news or more Call of Duty stuff, leave a like on the video. And also subscribe for more because more stuff coming out.